67 IH farmer here. If you go to change your motor oil in your vehicle and save it, you take it if, even if you take it to somebody, tell them you want to save it. Take a milk jug, bring an old oil container, anything. Save your oil. There's so many uses for oil. <clears throat> I put up for oil in McDonald's cup and I just set my uh, ratchets in there. It works good for lubricating the, the mechanic mechanism inside the ratchet. I do that to all my ratchets and they don't rust. Another good thing to do is to soak your sockets in oil. Prevent something from rusting. Coat your garden tools in it. This is just a rake, simple rake, but I coated the handle of this in motor oil. Used motor oil. It gives it a nice uh, stained look and it prevents it from rotting. Soak your chainsaw chains in it. Your chainsaw chains will last much longer, it'll be easier to untangle them, and they'll last but longer out in the rain if you leave them in the rain. Got junky mowers? Works perfect for motor oil in these. Just take it out of your car and then check your oil all the time in this. Check your oil. Need some? Add it. If not, don't. Oiled your wheelbarrow? Yeah, lately. Right there, just get some little oil on there and make it easier to push. And while we're right here, you can oil up little joints and stuff on here. You can oil up your pins and stuff. Oil up the blade a little bit. Now you can even oil up the front of your blade when you're snow plowing. It makes it slipperier and the snow won't stick to your plow. You can oil the chain so it don't rust. I oiled the steel here. It's already rusty, but it doesn't hurt. It's just waste oil. What, else, what are they going to do it with it? Probably filter it and give it back to you. And you want clean oil in your engine. An old engine like this, I put used oil on this. Does your wood boards and on your side of your truck look bad? Like this? I clear coated this in the middle of the summer, the spring, early spring, summer. And they already look junky. Just you take some used motor oil on it. Look at that. Looks like it's professionally stained with quality stain. Same with the sides. I never even uh, clear coated them. They look real nice. Now I'm doing the insides. A big difference. It helps the wood last a lot longer too. So what I did is I took an old sock and I'm dipping it in the oil and letting it soak in real good. And then just rubbing it on the wood. Let it soak in. I'll get that color. I'll get these metal pieces up while I'm at it. And it'll last. And a little bit of oil never hurt nobody. And don't be afraid to put more on there. Nothing likes oil. Bacteria don't live in motor oil. So you can't get sick off it. Well, we probably could if you ingest it because it's not good for you. But it inhibits rust. It inhibits bacteria. Nothing lives in it. it repels moisture. It preserves wood. Oil is just amazing, and especially if you can get it for free. You can just do whatever you need to with it. I'll show you the after. It's just after one coat of motor oil. That's really all you need too. No need to let it dry to put another coat in. If it just looks like it's starting to fade and stuff, add more on. Because it soaks up in the wood eventually. Probably do another coat, probably like next week or something. Let this soak in. Put one really thick coat on there. 
Then another thing it's good for is chainsaw bar oil. Some people say don't do that, but I, I use it. I don't use my saw enough to say no. Sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll mix it with uh, bar oil to make it thicker. And you need to always check your fluid on that. And make sure you're not starving it of fluid. It's also good for bearings. I got one over here sitting in the oil. The remainder of this oil I put on this bearing because I got to put this bearing on the mule drive of my Cub 70. Add some more to that. And just let that soak. Probably tomorrow or the next day I'll put that back on. Replace the one that's on there.